This is Lewis Hart from Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store and William Hill. Delighted to be joined with Bradley Skeet. It's a lovely, chilled Sunday afternoon after a sort of a, 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 in the middle of a very, very busy schedule for you. Um, you just got back from Mexico last week. How's things, mate? How have we been? Yeah, just uh, finally got over the jet lag and, and uh, yeah, the trip. But yeah, all good. Straight back into the gym. Uh, got Fran uh, making a debut. Uh, on the weekend so yeah straight back in the gym and uh back to work definitely we'll get onto that in a minute but um how was Mexico's an experience he's kind of then claimed the WBC interim title um happy with how it went yeah it was um it was good to be part of the team uh with obviously Eddie Lamb and, and Sky Nicholson um it was a great experience um mm-hmm. to to go away and 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 enjoy that experience and um yeah it was just a bit um like obviously the the devastating news of Sabrina's uh coach passing away after the, after the fight but um so yeah put put obviously a down on down on the, the skies win and and uh the great the great week we had up there but yeah um in all it was it was a good good experience obviously don't want to you know, I know it's a sort of a difficult thing just touching on it briefly um from your experience of it how difficult was that for you to see that and, and experience that you know how sort of I know it wasn't sort of a boxing related injury, but we know sort of the dangers and everything like that. So it must have been really, really worrying for you. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a shock more than anything because um, it, it was literally like thirty seconds to go with the last round. So um, obviously, Sky Sky was 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 like fighting the last like literally thirty seconds to go, and then yeah, you see like a bit of a commotion. But we was obviously concentrating on on the fight and Sky. And then it wasn't until like the final bell. Then obviously we we, we obviously learned to realise what was going on at ringside. But yeah, it was it was, it was hard hard to be honest. 100%, absolutely, I thought Sky to them. And um, one thing I did want to say, and I noticed it on your Instagram. I saw your Instagram of Eddie Lamb was he was cornering <laughs> he was cornering you when you was fighting, and then being in the yeah. corner with him. You think you're still a new new to sort of new to the you know, coaching game, training game. How special was that an experience to sort of look back on that and see now? Yeah, quality. Um, me and Eddie go back, go back years and years. Like he, he was with me at the start of my pro career, but I've known him before that when I was an amateur. Um, yeah, he's not, we we're, we're like family. Me and Ed, um, we're really close. And yeah, it was an honour when he, when he called to ask if I'd help him out and be part of the team. Then I, I didn't, I didn't have to, to second guess it. Like I just said yes straight away. Um, yeah, it was a, it was an honour and a, and a pleasure to to help Ed and and be part of his team. And being being a coach now, um, stepping away from fighting, do you feel like you have a different different perspective on boxing? Yeah, it's like I don't I like my my career. I, I done well and and um had some good times in my career, but to I I'll, I'll always it obviously didn't end how how I wanted it to. But I I was I'll always be around boxing. That's all I know. And and to be a coach and and to to pass on my knowledge and experience. Um, yeah, is 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 ideal for me really to to still be around boxing and 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 pass on what 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 I know sort of thing. So yeah, I get them them kicks and joys out of that the coaching side of things now. Does it rekindle a different sort of love for the sport when you do this? When you do this compared to when you was fighting? Yeah, like it's still I still get to enjoy all, all aspects of it. I'm still in the gym. I'm still uh, obviously it's not me putting in the work. I'm 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 obviously coaching and training my fighters to put in the work but I still get involved I'm still fit I'm still still grafting so yeah like I, I, it's the, the the thrill of night fight night I'm still there I'm still a part of it um so yeah I still get that same buzz really yeah absolutely we'll get on to the thrill of fight night because there will be a big thrill next Saturday because Fran Hennessy is making a pro debut um very very long awaited you know Fran's been around boxing for such a long time you're you know lucky enough to train her how excited are you for a pro debut yeah, I'm so I'm so excited. Um, she she she's gonna shine. She's a superstar. Um, she she's got it all. She's the full package. And um, I've been in the gym with her a long time now. And the way she's developed when she first come to me when when she was still an amateur um, to to now she she's uh, just impressed with her. Just so impressed with her. The the way like I say she's developed and. And she's learning and, and picking up things all the time. At every session, she, she's getting better and better. And I'm so excited now. Her debut's just around the corner, and she's gonna she's gonna explode onto the scene. And and she she's trust me, I, I call her the billion dollar baby. She's gonna yeah. be a superstar. 
and I'm so excited and 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 to be part of it and and watch her journey. And and if you look at Fran when she's turning over pro now, she's only eighteen, um, very very young. How important is it to you know develop her in in the in the best possible way? You know, and sort of um, you don't want to rush her too quick. Is it important to be careful to realize that you know she is only eighteen and she's still growing? Do you know what I mean? Of course, yeah. She's she's only eighteen and 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 she's got a a, a long time and ahead of her to 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 develop and and be, become that superstar. But you just got to look at in women's boxing. There's there's not there's not really a, a lot about so she can get moved quite quick if she if she fights how she's been training and and what i've seen of her in the gym and what she's been doing then there's, there's no reason to to do, hold her back i know she's only 18 but she she's more than ready from what i've seen and i've been around boxing a long time she she puts in the work she she's grafting and she just got to put that into her performances and i'm sure she will and she, there, there's no reason to be holding her back I was in the gym a couple of weeks ago and she was saying about sparring, sparring Sky Nicholson, um, you know, sparring Shannon yeah. Ryan, these top pros. You know, she said she was sparring pros when yeah. she was like 15, 16. So having that le learn, learning, you know, like, as you said there, um, there isn't much depth in women's boxing and it's hard to really, you know, you, you haven't got journey women or people like that. So is it important that, you know, she's learning at sparring from a young age because she's sparring experienced people where that's where she's really taking the learning from? Exactly. That she she sparred she sparred um like you say that the likes of Sky Nicholson, Nina Hughes. Um, Nina Hughes yeah, she's been she's she's been in uh like that like you guys got to look. They're all championship fighters. Joanna won you. They're all championship fighters. Um, and she she she's been sparring and and getting great experience and learning from them. And and she's she's sparring like championship rounds. She, she her last spar was the ten round spar. And and she's she, she's shining, do you know what I mean? So she's she can do it in the gym. And I know she, on the night it's just going to be time for her to develop on the night and get the them few fights out of the way. And and she'll be she'll be flying. And like I say, the girl's going to be a superstar. Absolutely. And you said there about that she's a full <clears> package. And one thing is you know, the hands down, the flair that she brings. It's something that we don't really see in the women's game. We see it with the in the men's game. You know, with Nassim Hamid, you know, Ben Whitaker, all these names that I could could list. So. Do you feel like that would set her, you know, she while she's skilled in so, so many aspects, the flair which really catches the fans' eyes, do you think that could set her apart from everyone else, especially when it comes to, you know, being a star outside of ring and talk about sort of big draws and things like that? Definitely. Her style and her swag, her flair, you, you, you don't see that. You don't see that often. And, as, and especially as a woman fighter, she's going to bring that shine and that swag and that flair. And she she's a TV fighter. She's going to be TV gold. And for her to perform like that on TV, that's 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 what's going to set her from the rest. I was going to say, and is it her having a, a big TV backing like Sky Boxer? And do you feel like you see the benefit with people like you know with Fran and especially you know um, Mick Junior, where they've been around boxing their whole life? Um, you know when they they were ready to turn pro anyway, and and they know boxing inside out already. But you still obviously need to learn. Uh, you still need to teach them a lot as well. Of course, they've they've grown up around boxing. Uh, boxing is all they know. They've been around it. They've seen it. They've been at the biggest events. Going the the the, the lights and cameras and and TV that ain't gonna phase them. They've they've been around it. So that they've got a one up there and then. But um, I, I'm sure they they both they both could take it in their stride. And they they're, they're very humble and, and good people. Come from a good family. And the, the, um, they got they they got the backing from me. And the back and from from obviously their dad Mick and uh and like you say they they they're on a, a big platform with Sky and Boxer and we we just gonna look forward to this journey with both of them. Absolutely, we're all going to uh, Mick Hennessy Junior. He's in another another big fight uh, against Harley Ben. You know, we'll get onto it. There's a lot of back and forth, and obviously, you know, you're you've been involved in that back and forth. But away from all, aside from that, as a fight, um. A good a, a good test for Mick and you know good for him to get back out there on a on a big undercard um and good exposure for him. Harley Ben ain't a test for Michael no way like 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 he's not a test he 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 ain't a, like hot like what's like what's he done to to say he's a test for Michael he's not he's not a test it's it's a big it's a big stage a big fight a big venue o two a big night of boxing but Harley Ben ain't no test for Mike Dr Mike Junior no way. 
as you say there, um, all, all, you know, it said, I know it says not test, but the exposure for him and being on the big stage um, for, for, for Mike is that that must be good. That's all good for him and good for his development when you want to go big for big fights down the future, down the line. Definitely, yeah. This 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 is this is big for for him. There fighting at the O2, fighting on Sky. He's with boxer. That that's 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 like a test for him because this is just the start of big things to come. Um, but like I said, uh, the opponent uh, that's that's not a test. Yeah, well, we'll get onto it. You say it's not a test, but is it also important that, to make sure that you know you can't overlook him and you need to take it as, as seriously as you possibly can? Yeah, that is it's like I say. He Michael has got my full backing, and I've been there, done it, got the t-shirt. I know exactly what needs to be done in training, and 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 to develop him, what he needs to do, the style he needs to 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 to, to work on, and we're doing that. We we we're doing that from the day the day he walked in the gym and started training with me. That's what we've been doing. We've been developing it into a championship fighter, and got that winning mentality and. Like I say, he's with me, and and we're we're grafting in that gym, and we're working hard. So I'm I'm going to develop in de- develop him into a, that that championship fight he needs to be. Absolutely, and <clears throat> we said there about you said that you know Harley Ben's not a test. Um, there's been a lot of back and forth between the two, and as I said there, you've obviously been brought into that. Um, we'll get onto sort of different yeah. sections of it. Um, first of all, what did you what did you make of the whole back and forth? Well, it mostly started from Harley's side. Yes, yeah, so it's it's all come from him, really. It's not my Michael's, like I say, respectable. Where he comes from, from a good, good, good background, and that he's he's not piped up once. So, um, yeah, like I don't. It all started obviously from a spa. Um, yeah, of course, yeah. I I wasn't training Michael that, that when that spa went on, so I wasn't there. I don't know like the ins and outs of it. I've heard what's gone on, and and I know what's gone on, but. That's how we, how it's all come about, really. And then like Harvey piped up and and started saying like about a fight with Michael and and I know he was disrespectful to Mick and and whatnot. And then the fight started developing from that. So that it was yeah, it was it was all started from then, really. Yeah. And Harley, Harley put an Instagram post out um, talking about you know, I'm sure you saw it was about the study in um, and it was yeah. obviously you know your fight with Hamza Shiraz. And then you obviously responded mm-hmm. with a DM of of of, of Harley um, between the two. Um, what did you make of that Instagram post? And obviously, you know, you had your right to reply, which sort of people can't really disagree with. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what what was going through his head that day when he started coming for me. Like the kid, I got no didn't I didn't have a problem with the kid. Like like we we used to like. Like, would be cool. Do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't ain't got a problem with it. Even when the fight was getting spoke about and getting and getting made, he was in my inbox, like saying, "Oh, it's it's a good fight." This that, and the other. I, I didn't show him no disrespect or, or nothing. I said, "Cool, like it's, I, that's the fight. If that's the fight. What's going to get made? That's the fight." Then he's coming with stupid posts about studying, uh, of the, and he put po- pictures up of the Hamza fight and videos of the the Hamza fight. I'm not with me on the floor after being hit illegally three times, and and if 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 that's what he's going to get his confidence from talking about his bro this and his bro that, I just put it out there. Like you weren't broing him and broing him that when you're inside in my DMs talking your shit, telling me he should have been disqualified and that how I was schooling him and 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 all seven to one rounds up. Like you weren't talking bro then. Do you know what I mean? And as for studying Hamza, uh, I, I, yeah, he got a win over me after legally hitting me three times on the floor. So I don't know what he's studying that fight for. And if he wants to study, he needs to realise and go back. Michael's already got two wins over Hamza. So like, he's studying the wrong fight there. Do you know what I mean? So I just had to show him. And then he started talking some nonsense that I've exposed family trauma and family, yeah. uh, like, things, personal things from him. Then I had to show him again. I didn't expose nothing. I don't talk to no one's business. I'm not here to talk business. I'm here to train people. So then he wants to talk about me exposing family trauma and, and personal stuff. Well, then I had to show him that years ago, before I, once again, before I even started training Michael, his own dad, Nigel, and his own brother, Connor, was exposing them things, what he allegedly say I was saying. Like, we're saying his name. His name, he's taking his mom's name, Andrews. I, uh, that's not come out my mouth. And I had to show him and put them, them interviews from years ago of his own brother and dad saying it. So he's told he's the, the 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 nonsense he's coming out from me is is 
irrelevant. So, but you know what? He's been very disrespectful and he, he, he said a few things, what I don't like. So after Michael absolutely destroys him and embarrasses him, then he's going to have to come and see me because I told him, I told him when he, when you sending me all them stupid voice notes and this and that, acting like a gangster and a bad man, like what he is, he's plastic, he's fake, he's fake. I know the real him, he's fake. He, he's telling me I'm not about that life. I don't claim to be, but I'll tell you what I'm about. Once Michael embarrasses him and finishes him, then he's going to have to come and see me because yeah. it ain't so, done. That ain't done. I was going to say that because you said about the, the post and did it, did it catch you off guard in a way? Because obviously, you know, you shared cards together. Um, Michael uh, Hennessy Jr. said to me about, you know, both sort of your mums being friends and this and that. So did it sort of catch you off guard in a way? I don't know why. He, the, the kid's got issues. I don't know why he come for me. There was no re the, the only reason he's coming for me is because I trained Michael, which is, is stupid. Like, friends in that box and, and, and it's business. Like, you go about your business, you do what you're doing, and you shake hands and go about your business. Like, I've had it in the past myself. Like, do you know what I mean? But yeah. for him to then come at me, for, for 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 something what's not even been spoke about, what his own dad and brother spoke about, like about using his mum's name, and and it weren't just his his mum's name. There was a, there was like a good few names like they 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 thrown out he could have used. Do you know what I mean? That's not all come from me, and the footage is out there. It's not nothing's come from me like that. Yeah. So like he just it just it just the kids are so weird. Like weird like it's just weird. Yeah, so talking about you... straighteners and talking about, about like. That, yeah. Get in the gym, like he's a fat mess. Get in the gym, start your fat camp, and get the weight down and 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 fight. You've got to fight there. Like Michael's giving him a great opportunity. Already got smashed in his last fight and stopped. Like he's got a great. He should just shut his mouth, get in his fat camp, start his training, and get another opportunity and a little payday for himself. Because yeah. the Michael like he's giving him an opportunity. And let me tell him something now. I'll tell him now in this interview. Get in your fat camp. I don't want no excuses about not making weight. He knows the consequences if he don't if he don't make weight. Yeah, so he can be as fat as he like, coming overweight. Yeah, no excuses, no fake injuries, no pulling out this fight. You've talked. He's talked his shit. Yeah, make sure he's at that fight. Like he's better pull up to that fight. Regardless, he wants to be a gangster and a bad man. Get himself to the fight. He, no, no, no excuses because we all know what he's all about. He's all talk, talk, talk. Yeah, he don't. He's he, he's fat as a pig, for one. So he knows the consequences when he comes in overweight, which he will. Yeah, don't let that be an excuse. Come in as fat as you want. Yeah, all the, like injuries and but don't be calling out no injuries and fake. If you're a bad man and a gangster and this and that, and you're about this life. Turn up to that fight and let's get it cracking. Yeah. And watch say, what happens. So do you feel like this hunt means more for you now with all the personal stuff, the jives at you? Um, you know, family's involved, obviously, and he's done involved. Do you feel like you know he's saying a lot of Trust stuff me. about you? This it's is all, it's a lot more, yeah. It's no joke. This is no, no joke. I'm like, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, it's not a joke. This ain't a game. You don't play boxing, so this ain't a joke to me anyway. This ain't building up a fight and all that. You can chat, 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 build up a fight, but when you start getting personal and coming and saying personal shit, not just to my fighter and my fighter's family, to me personally, to me. Yeah, he needs to realise who he's talking to. And Michael's going to put some respect on him and I will put some respect on him after. Trust me. So I was going to say, like, in your in your career, is it important that, you know, the, the, the passion that you show now, you know, that gets put into the fighting as well, as you said. And it all, you know, Michael said, you know, he felt disrespected and, and like I said, this is only going to make you work even harder now. Of course, Michael, Michael, an ultimate professional anyway. All this is, is, is nothing to Michael. This is, this is nothing. He... This is personal to him because, like I say, he's been disrespected. His family's been disrespected. He's, disres he's disrespecting me as his coach, as his friend. Like I class them as family to me. So it's it's disrespect. Like he, he, he this is this is personal. Like we've both said, this is personal. This ain't banter. This ain't wouldn't like. Do you know what I mean? This is personal, and he's and he's gonna get and he's gonna get embarrassed for it. And like, but just like I said, then make sure he shows up to that fight. He. Like he can't talk all this talk because that's what he's known for doing, and 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 then not sure because he's just embarrassing. Because yeah, because you say obviously you know you say this is personal for you, but then like I suppose Harley was saying about he was like oh he put an Instagram post and saying about you know he's only trying to be a menace, he's only having it for banter and this and that. No, he's not. No, the, the, the the stuff he's been putting out and and think that's what you see. I've got messages on my phone, voice notes on my phone. The way he's talking, that 
I like I told him, I told him the last message I was sent to him was bring that same energy. The energy he was showing on them voice notes, talking big, big and bad, yeah? Bring that same energy. That's all That's all he needs to do. Like, regardless of the fact, like I say, weight or no weight, he knows the consequences. Come in as fat as you want because you're going to hear foul weight anyway. Come in as fat as you want. That ain't a problem. The fight will still go ahead. Don't be calling no fake injury. Can't do this, can't do that. I've hurt my back, I've hurt my leg, I've hurt my arm, I've hurt my toe, I've hurt my finger. You're a big bad man like you talk like you are. Come to the fight, show up to the fight, let Michael embarrass you, then come see me after. Yeah, and I suppose Michael also said that he talked about having a straightener after. I know they that Harley said about a straightener, he called him out for a straightener before the fight. Michael was like, after the fight, we can have it. Is that something obviously he's got to see you? Anyway, as well. anyway, he wants it. He, he's, he's been very, very disrespectful. Yeah, that's all that's that's what I'm saying. Please come get him to the fight first, show up to the fight first, do what you got to do in the fight. And then you think he'll show up. He better. The way he's a gangster, he's a bad man, he's this, he's that, he's street, he's road, he's all this, what he keeps claiming to be. He needs to show up to the fight. Yeah. Show up to that fight and bring that same energy. Like I told him, bring that same energy. Because I'm all it. for it. He says I'm not about it, I'm all for it. Yeah, absolutely. We'll uh, wrap up on a, a more positive note. Um, have you, What have you got coming up, mate? Apart from the, the two, uh, Hennessy, what have you got coming up, mate? Uh, like I've got Fran out next week. Then obviously Michael's fight. I've got uh my welterweight Rob Vincent four and oh he's fighting his fifth uh fight on November the eleventh, and then should be back out with Sky. Sky should be getting a date again soon, and then back to Fran and Michael. So yeah, busy times. Yeah, absolutely. Just the last one on as we're touching on Sky. Obviously now there is the potential Serrano fight. There are potential domestic fights. Do you feel like that's something she's ready for? Yeah, listen, she she's at that level now. She's got the interim world title. Um, it, 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 like I said, it's great to be part of the team. So I'll be I'll be helping Ed and adding what I can add and and developing her. Like I say, like with with all my fighters, like developing them into the championship fighters they need to be. Um, and yeah, so listen, you've got to aim for the top, and Sky is is more than ready. She's aiming for the top. She's got that interim world title. And uh, yeah, she, she's going to be looking to become world champion. 100%. Bradley, just want to say thank you for the time to speak to me. I know it's a, a chill Sunday, um, but no, I appreciate it, man. All the best for, I'm sure I'll be seeing you next week and all the best for October as well, mate. Thank you. Top man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah.